Welcome back to Living 808. All week long, we are celebrating Nurses Week. And John went up to Queens North Shore Hawaii Community Hospital. He went to talk to a nurse and learn her story. We are smack dab in the middle of appreciating all of the nurses that are working, especially here at Queens, and we're talking to Kay Hawan. Thank you so much for being with us. I appreciate it. Thank you um, for having me. I know that you're in med surge here at Punchbowl. Mm -hmm. Yes? Why don't you go ahead and tell everybody what you do? Uh, currently, I'm a charge nurse on Queen Emma Tower Nineva. It's a surgical telemetry floor. Uh, so we do thoracic surgeries, um, GI surgeries, a lot of complex surgeries. There's yeah. a, that sounds, it sounds kind of complex. It is, it is. <laughs> it what, is. what made you become a nurse? Why did um, you become a nurse? Always wanted to be a nurse after high school, um, entered the workforce. And it was actually um, a friend that I met in the early 1990s. We had a class together. She's a nurse here. She's a charge nurse now. Um, her name is Stephanie Aguan. Shout and out. Yeah, and through her encouragement and inspiration, I applied. And with Bernice Pohi Bishop, Naho Okamo, if you may remember, yeah, yeah. through Thomas Kuulu Kukui, through Hawaii Community Foundation, I received scholarships and grants. Oh, amazing. And, and I'm so grateful. And yeah. I, I graduated, yeah. So I've been at Queens for about 26 years. I've only been a Queens nurse, yeah. The wow. support here is, is incredible. What is the most yeah. gratifying thing for you about doing what you do? is actually being with the team. Yeah. I value being a member of our team and watching the miracles happen every day. Um, it's looking into the eyes, John, of whether it's your staff and you can see the passion and the joy mm -hmm. in their delivery of care. And it's, it's the patients. We learn from them every day, as well as the staff. I was sharing with Wendy Hunter that that keeps me going. Mm -hmm. um, being part of the team, watching them share their love, working with their compassionate care, with their astute thinking skills. It really is like closed loop communication, team building, and we do that every day. Somebody's looking into being a nurse. They're maybe at the, the, the first stage of going to school or maybe even the last stage and thinking, is this what I really want to do? What would you tell them? What kind of advice would you give them? I would say to definitely apply to nursing school. If it's in your heart or even in your mind that you want to be a nurse, do it. Get Apply for the grants. See your financial aid departments. There's many nursing schools in Hawaii. And I would say to do it because there's many, many areas that you can work in. Acute mm -hmm. care, clinic nursing. You can be an educator. Get your master's, advanced practice. You can become a doctor in nursing. So there are many, many areas that you can go into. And if this is really what you want, I would invite you to be a part of the miracles. Be a part of taking care of someone and restoring them back to health and getting them home to their loved ones. And you get yeah. to meet wonderful people like this. <laughs> okay, how? Thank you for having me, I appreciate it. Oh, thank you, thank you for everything. And thank you to Kay Howe for all that she does. Mm -hmm. Med Surge is definitely a place that is different every day, and she does some wonderful things. And of course, throughout the week, we're gonna celebrate nurses right here in Living Aid Week. I love that. So stay tuned for some really great and inspiring stories.